Today, we're gonna be making art out of sand. We're on the beach, so we have lots of sand to use, and whoever has the best sand art after six hours wins up to $5,000 for a subscriber. Let's go! And whoever wins this challenge gets $1,000 worth of seafood. Time starts now. So everyone has basic tools. They have a shovel, buckets and toys. Look at all of this art supplies I have to use. We just saw real dolphins out in the open and I almost started crying, it was so cool. Hey everyone, gather in real quick. So the last person who brings me a seashell gets ocean water dumped on them. <laughs> Wait, what? Already? Oh, okay. Hey, we already got two over here. Okay, nice. Yes. I think I got it. Okay, you got it. Technically, that counts. Yes. Izzy brought me a tiny shell. Oh. Let me see it. Let me see it. All right. All right. Ben, what happened? I found a bottle cap. Michelle, come over here. Look what I got you. I got you seashells. Thank you. All right, Ben, come over here. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 All right, everyone, get back to work. Gabe, who do you think is gonna win this challenge? I got my bet on Viv. If you're correct, I'll give you five hundred dollars. But in the meantime, come over here. All right, I'm gonna start digging a hole over here because it's for punishment later on in the video. I'm gonna start digging. Jake, if you're watching this, I'm yeah. sorry Zach told me to do this, but I'm about to fill up a bucket with sand for Guys, I want to see really big sand art for this challenge. Size does matter. This is my hole so far. I'm not sure why I'm having so much fun digging this hole. But one of the contestants is going to get buried alive in just a little bit, which should be pretty funny. I thought you liked worms. I hate worms. The passion. I hope they all die. <laughs> I swear if that was a worm, you're dead. Jake, what's the plan? I'm making a butterfly. I don't think it's what you have in mind. The plan is to make a lot of big structures. Gabe, do you have any tips for her? You have six hours. Make it super huge. I will do that. I'm going to build a rhinoceros. I want to make like a giant dragon guarding Ooh. a sand. Okay. Board. I'm gonna do like a mermaid lay, like leaning against some rocks. So I'm gonna make a huge hole and I'm gonna have like a staircase made out of sand and everything. We have two towers and a bridge connecting, but that's only if I can get the stupid sand out of this bucket. <laughs> Looks like you're in trouble, Ben. All right, they're about to get another challenge in just a second. All right, artists, you have 10 minutes to build a sand castle. Whoever builds the best one gets an advantage. Go! Ooh. Ooh. Hey! You get a really big advantage. Jake looks like he's struggling. He doesn't have much down yet. Shoot, it keeps falling. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop building. All right, Jake, let's look at yours. We have the world's most exquisite sand castle. Jake, Jake, I don't think you're winning this challenge. Ben, it looks like a big boo. Ooh. It's like a big tower with stairs going up to each room. That's not too bad. Probably the best one I've seen so far. Hey, it looks like there's a face in there. Yeah. Aww. Ooh, Mackenzie. This one's good. This is my space. See. I don't think. It doesn't look like they're buildings. It looks like a giant mud mound. In my opinion, I think Mackenzie had the best one. Mackenzie, you don't just get an advantage. You're not getting two advantages. You're getting three. First one, give this to someone and take their shovel for an hour. Right now? Yeah. Okay, go. Mackenzie, you're welcome. One of the contestants will be wearing a seaweed necklace for the rest of the <laughs> challenge. Unfortunately, that stays on for the rest of the challenge. I will remember this. Choose one person and make them dig a hole for 30 minutes. Jake! <laughs> All right, Jake, for the next 30 minutes, 
You're digging this hole, you have to make it as deep as possible. How's it going, Izzy? Okay, so it's I don't know, it's hole. taking kind of a while yeah, with this little but pink shovel. Izzy, you can stop using your tiny shovel. <laughs> Jazz, you made such a big booty. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, I'm gonna make my mermaid thick. Oh my goodness, that's like rounded turkey. <laughs> Jake, you may stop digging. Yes! So the butterfly is not working out. Now I gotta think of something else because I'm having a hard time over here. New challenge! Everyone grab your shovel and come with me. You guys will be digging holes! You have three minutes to dig a hole. Whoever has the most shallow hole in three minutes gets buried alive! Alright, go, start. These holes are looking pretty good. Michelle's hole looks pretty wide. Guys, hurry up! Five, Five <laughs> four, three, two, one! What the <laughs> Yeah, we're hey, not it! I'm gonna stick this shovel into Jake's hole. <laughs> All right, it goes to around Whoa. here. Hole. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jess, your hole's so deep. All right, here's up to here. Jess still has the deepest hole right now. Mackenzie! 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 <laughs> Alright, Mackenzie, come with us! Mackenzie, get in that hole! <laughs> Bro, I can't stay like this! Hurry up and just shove it All right. in! <laughs> Alright, Mackenzie, get lower! Oh. Wow! Okay, yeah, I think that's good, guys! Jake, don't do that! I'm dancing on Mackenzie's Jake! Oh You're gonna be here for the next 30 minutes! <laughs> Alright, guys, get back to work! Nothing to see here! Mackenzie, do you want to guess how much time has passed? 20 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. You can get out. Oh, I really can't. You guys buried me deep. All right, three, two, one, go. Stand up. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yay. All right, Mackenzie's free. What's the plan for the next few hours? You have around three hours left. I'm going to make a really good, a hopefully really good uh, frog head. I might extend the skeleton and, or I might just add some like cool designs on the side, like maybe some flowers. My goal right now is to make it as tall as possible. Michelle, what do you have? I just see a hole. Stop! It's not just a hole, it's a cat. I went ahead and like got wet sand to build with because I see that everybody's like trying to build with dry sand but it doesn't uh -huh. stay as long. This is gonna be a castle so right now it's just a pile of sand. All right, artists stand in a circle. We're gonna go one person at a time. The lowest scorers will get punished. You have to bounce it as many times as you can oh, like that. God. Mackenzie, starting with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten for Mackenzie. One, two, three, four. Four for Michelle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very nice, Viv. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> Michelle and Jazz, you get a small bucket of ocean water. Izzy, you get the big one. All right, Jazz, you and Michelle share one bucket. All right, All right Izzy, we're gonna throw it on three. Three. <laughs> now I really want to include them in the video so we're gonna have them judge some of the artists art the artists have 10 minutes to draw a giant drawing in the sand worst one gets dunked in water the best one gets a secret advantage 10 minutes starts now they keeps making frogs I don't know why they're green and they're cool mother no! nature hates me oh, come no! on 
All right, so what would you guys give this out of 10? I'd give it Seven, nine. 7.5. 7.5? 8.5. 8.5? 7. 7? 7. I'd what? give it a 6. This one's six. so good! 6. I'd say 9. 9. 8.5. I'd say 7.5. I'd say 7. Do you think Ben won, correct? Yeah. 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 All right, I want each one of you to fill your bucket up with water. Oh, all right, surrounder on three. You guys are all going to drench her. Three, two, one, go! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, guys. All right, Ben, Michelle got a lot of water dumped on her. You can take one of the buckets, fill it up with water, and pour it on someone's art. Wait, what are you Beautiful. doing? Wait, wait. Yeet! <laughs> Mackenzie. Suck it. What a bummer. Now we have another challenge, but we're gonna do something nice for this beach while we're at it. You guys will be picking up trash for five minutes. Whoever brings me the least amount of trash has to pick up trash for another 30 minutes. Oh, Go! Which is basically trash, trash. I'm seeing no trash. The beach is pretty clean. I feel like I already got a lot of trash. I see some trash over here. Hey, Michelle! You're not allowed to take things out of the trash can! All right, let's see everyone's trash. This Very is the good. finest, the finest trash. Izzy, where'd you get so much? I'm a scavenger. Uh, Jake, let... Oh. There's a lot of pieces. Uh, I don't think Very good, know Ben. All right. I Michelle. Of, I got a lot of mini items. Michelle. I got a what lot of this? mini items, OK? What is this? Mackenzie, a piece of wood is not trash. <laughs> All right, everyone, go throw away your trash, except for Michelle. Michelle, you said you like cleaning up the beach, so I do. your job is to make this beach squeaky clean for the next 30 minutes. Sounds good. All right, Izzy, so I believe you picked up the most trash out of anyone. I want to reward that behavior. This is yours. Oh, I got my own big shovel! No, 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 no. You get to scoop a huge chunk out of anyone's art. Stop. I know Rhino's art endangered, but... <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Three, two, one, everyone, time is on! All right, let's start over there with Jake. So I made a frog and it has a party hat. I actually mined some, some darker sand and I made that into the pupils. Jake, I must say, your forms are very nice. It's very smooth. My goal is to make it really clean. It is really clean. It also looks really scary. I made a demon skeleton coming from the ground. Here's a skull, lots of horns coming out. And then this is pretty much the rib cage area. We have one arm right here. The rib cage is probably my favorite part. That's really cool. So I wanted to make big structures, so I made big structures. It turned into a castle. I have a bridge that goes into the main entrance. I have many windows and I have stairs. Very cool. I, I actually really like the brick designs over there. That's a soccer ball for my soccer stadium. I like how you use those plastic thingies for the goals. The bottom looks like a giant Pokemon ball. I made a big rhino. So this represents the rhino's struggle coming out of the sand. It represents the rhino's struggle to come back from being almost extinct because they're very endangered animals. I like the body and form of the rhino. I feel like overall you executed the form. This is my mermaid princess. I gave her a little seaweed sash. I used the materials of the beach. You know, I gave her some seaweed hair. Very nice job. I, I would say this is one of your better pieces. So I made a dragon. Uh, I initially wanted to, you know, make it defending a castle, but the castle was just not holding up. So instead I made it a mama dragon defending her eggs. I especially love the head. I, I would say the structures, the form is incredible. Mackenzie, take she notes. Used rocks. She used rocks as the eyes. All right. We have a lot of really nice pieces, but unfortunately we can only have one winner. So as much as I hate to do it, we're going to have to start eliminating one person at a time. Michelle. Yes. I admire the effort, but you're eliminated. Yeah. Ben, very nice piece, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to eliminate you. I'm sorry, Ben. Jake, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to eliminate you and your frog. Well fought. 
Jazz, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to eliminate your mermaid. I thought it looked really nice, but there are just too many good pieces today. All right, Mackenzie, you're eliminated. I am sorry. Beautiful rhino, but I don't think you made the cut. Okay. And our winner, I'm gonna have to go with Izzy. <laughs> good job. Yay! Izzy, you have $1,000 to get as much seafood as you want. Well, I can't eat all that seafood by myself. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sushi, guys. Yeah. 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 Everyone gets sushi. Well, that's very nice of you, Izzy. Good job. Yeah. And for the rest of you. Yeah. So I'll show you guys right away, just once the tide goes down, everyone lays down, pin your nose, have it crash out, and everyone run back. Alright, let's go, let's go! Wait, what? Wait, Wait where? where are we going to? Alright, right here. Right here. Right 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 go! Go, lay down! Oh. A ton of kinetic sand. They will have five hours to make art out of kinetic sand, and whichever one of them has the best piece will win up to five grand for a sibling or their child. My kids are about to be rich. Yay, sand! Is everyone ready? Yes. yes. Start up the timer. Let's go get some sand. It's called sand because it's between sea and land. Huh? I think sand is land. I just heard it somewhere from TikTok. <laughs> for those of you guys that don't know what kinetic sand is, let me give you a quick demonstration. So this over here is kinetic sand. You can go from soft to hard. Squeeze it. It's <laughs> oh, it gets hard when you rub it. If I win, I'm just gonna have to split the winnings with my siblings. Because if you guys don't know, I'm a triplet, so that's already difficult enough. It's a lot of siblings. Never used kinetic sand in my life. Feeling really confident about this challenge, honestly. You're a child. Well, I have a twin brother, so if he wins the money, it's like I win the money. We can go pee really quick and I'll be right back. Maybe I'll find some inspiration in the bathroom. I want to keep my winning percentage up. I know it's only been one, but as long as it stays better than Nick's. What do you mean? This is going to be the first win. It'll still be better percentage, though. Wow, this looks it's really cool. Like Look at this. Up. This is so fun! <laughs> So we are 15 minutes into the challenge. All right, I'm curious to see what they're working on. What are you making? I'm making an octopus, so this is gonna be like his head. How many times do you have to tickle in an octopus to make it laugh? 18. 10 tickles. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something online where they had a train and it's crashing into something. Ooh, that is cool. Ben literally asked me what I would make and I said a crocodile, so now he's making a crocodile. Inspiration. How did you get the green so nicely mixed? We don't even have a green. All I've been doing is just playing with the sand, so I've had a lot of time. I have no idea what I'm making yet. I'm trying to make a sea turtle. You're winning this for your kid, right? Yeah, one of my four kids. Which one? <laughs> hey, message to Ryan's kids, behave this week. I thought I'd be better because I have more experience from the last sand art. What's the better the last one? Place a bet on one of them. Who do you think is going to win? I think I got to go with Ben. If Ben wins, I'll give you $500. All right. Well. David places bet on me. I was My first thought that came to mind was he's dumb. I'm not going to win. Can I change my vote? No, you can't change your vote. You already chose Ben. If Ben doesn't win, our videographer will also get the losing punishment that I will announce a little bit later. I don't want to see David get punished. He didn't bet on me. I tried something, didn't work out, and now I'm behind. Big whoop. This what bug is saying. Subscribe, subscribe, don't step on me. Wow, Jake has nothing, wow. Like literally nothing. I have a great foundation started. All right, we're more than 30 minutes in. I don't have a lot down, not gonna lie. Jake has nothing down, so I Jake feel a little bit better about myself. All right, everyone look up at the clock. It is 420, which Bruh. means we have a challenge. Meet me outside. Everyone listen up. You guys have three minutes to make a sandcastle. Best one gets an advantage, go. Working fast, working hard. How did you do this? Oh. No. You guys are around halfway through. Come on, come out, come out. How do you have four walls up, Michelle? Three, two, one. All right, everyone stop. I'm looking for overall design and how clean the sand looks. I, I'd say design better than Nick's. Michelle, you have a nice design, but the sand doesn't look packed very well. Ooh, Ben, that looks cool. Jake, the sides are a little bit wonky on this. All right, I'm gonna have to give it to Ben. Let's go! Oh! Even I got you, boy. Everyone head inside, Ben. I have your advantage. I gotta go back and work on my train. It's a little rusty. So you get to choose two artists and take away all their tools for 30 minutes. Uh, I need to see the artwork first. Look at this piece. It's coming together very nice. That needs to go. Yeah, it's not that good yet. You don't even know what's happening. You don't even know what's going <laughs> What? But he is from his kids. So? <laughs> All right, Nick. What are you doing? You can't use any tools for 30 minutes. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, Ryan. I'm sorry I had to target you. 
<laughs> David said, screw your family. <laughs> <laughs> David cares about the children, but he cares about $500 more. Okay, so when the timer hits, three, 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 you guys can use your tools again. I feel like I'm winning this more for David than my brother, but that's okay. This reminds me of the other stand art challenge and it sucked then too. I'm gonna win. Sorry, not sorry. So, as you guys can see, it's still a bit for 3D, so I think it'll... They just use tools. If you break the rules, there's a penalty. Did you use it to smooth it out? All right, I'll be honest, I smoothed it out. So in half the videos Nick's been in, he's managed to cheat. We will be extending your time by 15 minutes. Yeah. Every time someone cheats, the penalties will become more severe. Everyone thinks I'm cheating? I'm not. I'm just, you know, bending rules a little. You know, I just want to win a crafts video. It's turning out a lot better. I'm working flat, but it's still a bit for 3D, so I think it'll it'll come out cool. Someone's getting a bit nervous, I can tell. I was about to grab that shovel. Can someone move that shovel? I'll move it for you. Zach. That doesn't count. Right, does anyone want to take a guess as to what the punishment is if you lose? Get pinched by live crabs. <laughs> crabs? Ew. If you guys lose, or David, if Ben doesn't win, you guys will get slimed. Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna get slimed because I'm very confident. We just got slimed pretty recently and it was quite nice. It was nice and warm. I've gotten slimed before, so I'm used to it. There are two hours left and I feel like all the artists are making good progress on their pieces, but it seems like one artist is having too much fun and I'm a little worried he's not gonna finish. I think I'm doing pretty good, not working too slow. Watch me be a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm causing so much mischief. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's just farting everywhere. I'm pretty confident, actually. So let's go take a look around. What are the thoughts with the texture over there? That was like a little experimental. I'm experimenting to see if that would look good all the way around. I'm kind of iffy about it. I don't think it looks very good. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. It's not even done yet. That is a chubby crocodile. A big fat boy. All right, what are you thinking about doing for your last two hours? I'm gonna just make it a floating face with wings on the side. So whatever you can accomplish in two hours, go for it right now. Because I feel like the more you put in, the, the more unfinished it looks. I just get carried away. I was feeling a little confident at the beginning of this challenge because I play with kinetic sand with my kids all the time, but it's not easy to sculpt stuff. The shape of my crocodile is looking really good so far. All I have to do is just add the legs and I just have to detail it. If the details are good, I'll have a good chance of winning. All of you guys have less than two hours left. I think it's a perfect time for a challenge. Raise your hand if you want another challenge. Too bad, because you guys are getting one anyway. It's challenge time. Better watch out for Nick cheating. Over there is a table of dolls. Each one represents one of you. You guys will have the opportunity to punish one person if you hit their doll. Michelle, if your ball hits Ben's doll, and you get to scoop something out of Ben's art. Who wants to go first? I'm Ryan. Ryan. All right, Ryan, do you ever play catch with your sons? Yes. Here's your kinetic sandball. Who are you aiming for? Nick. <laughs> nope. Oh! Kobe. Oh, I, I think that hit Ryan. So you're gonna be able to scoop one out of Ryan. I'm right. not aiming for anyone in particular. Just don't aim for yourself, Michelle. Yeah. Nope. Oh. 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 There you go. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was an accident! <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, let's get some scoops going. If Nick scoops my big turtle, I'm gonna be so mad. All right, Nick, so here's your scoop. Take as much out as you can with the scoop. I didn't do that bad. I really wish you would have just taken the head off because that would have been easy to fix. Thought we were friends, Nick. Wait, that was on target. Hard. Oh. <laughs> Ben just yeeted turkey into space. I officially hate sand art. Here's the progress on the octopus so far. My legs hurt, the sand is actually kind of painful to sit in for super long. Ben, Ryan, you guys want to go play some 2-1-2? Two two? It's five minutes of 2-1-2. Two two. Zach, I have a challenge to win. Play one-on-one -on -one with Mackenzie. No, not after what she did to Michelle. <laughs> He's scared. Hey, Nick, you want to go play basketball for 30 minutes? Yeah, sure. Let's go, Ben. All right, fine. I'm gonna shoot some hoops because I'm that confident. I honestly would have played basketball with them too, but I would never finish. So I'm gonna make the smart decision and I'm gonna win. Kobe! I hate this challenge. I hate Sam. It's in places it shouldn't be. Kobe! Oh. That's it, I'm going to sculpt. Next time I'm coming with the basketball shoes. <laughs> Dude, I'm sweating so much. I'm working on the teeth for my guy's face. I might have time to do wings, but we'll see. I finished my train. Now I am making a destroyed sandcastle. 
There's 15 minutes left and I feel like all the artists are really stressed right now and trying to finish their pieces. But I still have one more challenge for them and they're not gonna wanna lose this one. Everyone, come right over here. Sit in front of one of these buckets. So here's what's gonna happen. So each one of you guys has a bucket of sand in front of you and a little shovel. You can't use anything but the little shovel to scoop up sand and place it in your bowl. So the first two people to finish can keep going. If you're in the bottom three, you can no longer touch your piece. You will have 30 seconds, go. Oh, oh man, no! Three, two, one, so what you doing? Ben, how did yours break? That's so going too fast. First up, we have Nyx. Yours is seven pounds. Ryan, yours is 8.8 .8 pounds. Oh my god! Michelle? Nine oh. pounds! Ben, 6.4 pounds. Alright, Jake, yours. Whoa! I'm just kidding. Seven pounds. Ryan and Michelle, you guys can keep working. Everyone else, you guys are done. Uh, I was doing good up until I had to play basketball. I honestly don't have any motivation to keep going. I'm just gonna admire the team. <laughs> what? Why don't you give me the 10 minutes? No. Since Ben, Jake, and Nick are no longer able to work on their art, Ryan and Michelle have a serious advantage to put finishing touches on their pieces. For the people cheering me on, keep cheering me on, but I'll do better next time, I promise. All right, everyone, time's up. Let's start with you, Ryan. I just like doing wildlife, so I've done sea turtles before in paintings, and I thought it would be cool because it's kind of flat and I wouldn't mm -hmm. have to build up too much. I think each one of these little turtles represents one of your children. Yep. For some reason, I like this shell better than the main one. I feel like it's because of the curvature. Nice job, Ryan. Thanks. All right, Jake, why don't you tell me a little bit about your piece? This is my character, let's call it Weasel. He's got green skin, teeth, I see all the wrinkles. Jake, I'm very impressed. I, I feel like the tongue could have been done a little bit better, but overall, it, it looks very smooth and finished. Good job, Jake. All right, Ben, tell me about your piece. So I made a crocodile, his name is Gustav. And considering I'm not the best at sculpting, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Well, I really like how you did the top over here. I feel like you could have used the beige a little bit better and in a couple more areas. Good job, Ben. Michelle, tell me about your train wreck. And Turkey's not very good at driving, so he crashed into a sand castle. I would say it looks very interesting and cartoonish. I think the vehicle could have used a lot more work. <laughs> Overall, creative piece. Good job, Michelle. Nick, tell me about this. Yeah, so I created an octopus. I think I got a lot of detail down for the amount that I actually did. The suction cups ended up looking pretty nice. I think the tentacles really look nicer when, when they're longer. Good job. Here's how we will decide who the winner is. I'm gonna go around and give it a score out of 10, and then we're gonna have a guest judge come over, give it a score out of 10. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. What do you think your chances are? Very slim. Not bad, right? I think overall it's a solid piece. I will give this one a six. I, I really like this piece. I'm gonna go with a nine. Yes! I think this is a cool piece, but I, I feel like it, it could have used some work. I, I will give this piece a seven. Michelle, it's cute. And I appreciate that you have a background like everyone else, so I will give yours a five and a half. Overall, very strong piece. I will give yours an eight. Now that everyone has their scores from me, just so you guys know, this is just my opinion. Feel free to rate them however you want. Mackenzie, come over here. As the guest judge, you need to have no bias. Don't about anyone who made it, even if they cheated. Purely looking at the art piece, what would you give this one out of 10? I would give it a six. Brian, your final score is a 12. An eight. I'll take it. 17 for you, Jake. 8.5. Ooh. 15.5 for Ben. I'm sorry, Michelle, I'll, I'll give you a four. <laughs> Nine and a half for Michelle. Finally, Nyx. 7.5. Which means Jake. I won! So in our next video, I'm gonna pull you aside. You can win up to five grand for your siblings. They can split it however they want. You're welcome, guys. I just bought a ton of clay, and whichever one of you guys has the best clay sculpture in five hours wins up to five grand for a random subscriber. Yeah. Yeah. Your time has officially started. But before you guys actually start sculpting, I have a mini challenge. Are you ready? You guys each have five minutes to sculpt the ZEC Crafts logo. Go. We've never yeah. done a no. challenge this early. I don't know what it looks like. Right off the bat, I really want to raise the stakes. Well, I am actually very excited to see what they come up with this challenge. Mine looks like a nasty Pac-Man right now. Ta-da! Personally, sculpting is not my strong suit. I don't want to just see realism. I want to see a lot of like little details because I think they can get very detailed with it and make something very interesting. It's kind of rough, Ben. Oh my god! 
That's so cute, Michelle. Three, two, one. Time's up. It's not good, Ben. What do you mean? Michelle, I like that you went for a 3D look. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a little devil. Okay, not bad. One of the better ones I've seen so far. Yeah. Hmm, okay, that's close. <sighs> it looks a little rough. Okay, David, I'm gonna have to give this one to you. Yeah! Is this your first mini yeah, challenge? I've never won a mini ever? challenge. Ever? Ever. Okay, hang on, editors, put a clip up here of David winning a mini it challenge. Doesn't I don't he didn't it win doesn't one. exist. It doesn't exist. We're gonna make this video a little interesting and up the stakes right away. So, by winning this entire challenge, I'll give you $500. Wow. And if, if you can guess exactly the order each person comes in, I'll give you a grand. Oh, I'm gonna say Lost. I'll be first, <laughs> and I'm gonna put Kenzie a second, Jay, Ben, and Michelle, and then Benny. David, if everyone finishes in this order up here, you get one and a half grand. Okay. I'm doing another bird. Yeah, I'm in the bird phase. Oh, okay. So I hope I got the order right. That was my first ever mini challenge I've ever won. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. I'm going to sculpt a praying mantis. I really think Zach's gonna like it, and I'm gonna win. And I'm going to be making a zombie out of clay. So I am looking around right now, and stakes are definitely high, because David has 1,500 buckaroonies on the line. I think he picked himself first, because he has confidence in himself. That actually makes sense. That looks really nice. Yeah. Do you like the heart now? It's a little stylized, a little goofy. David decided to put me as second, which I think was a big mistake. I think in this video, I'm kind of like the underdog because I'm never seen as like a good sculptor or anything. I'm gonna try to make something pretty cool that I'm actually proud of. Are you working on an owl? Yeah! I'm very obsessed with birds as of recently. I think we have a base idea of what we're gonna yes. do. We're gonna do an alligator. You got your empty shade to me. Oh God, he has a functional piece. If I were to compete in this challenge, I'm not sure if I would do a dragon. I'd probably do a horror creature. Took a long break because I had a meeting to go to. Yeah. If you guys haven't subscribed already, subscribe to my channel and ZC Crafts and ZC and everything. He's a big boy. Huh? Okay, I got the base of my skull done. So far, it's looking really cute. There's something off about it. It looks a little Neanderthal. Jake's also looks like it's coming along, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to finish it. I gave up on the flying owl. I'm doing a standing owl. <laughs> Making the wings go up is too hard. I definitely have the most ambitious piece by far. If I could pull this off, I have the W. Jake, what are you doing? Losing. I'm going for like a horror thing. Yeah. See that? And then boom, look at that. I'm kind of surprised because Ben normally doesn't sculpt. You actually have a chance to win a sculpting competition. This is so ugly, I'm gonna redo it. I'm assuming you're making this a little stylized, right? By how big like the spikes look. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is something up. Like, like I would draw. We have a lot of tough competition today. Zach has been going around giving everybody else advice and the only thing he told me is that my last place so far. Michelle, what happened to the owl? You spent two hours on an owl. I did. Originally, I wanted the owl wings to like fly, but it was too hard for me to do. David and Mackenzie's both look pretty good. I think the tough part about this challenge is it's gonna be a battle for first, because there's quite a few contenders that could surprise any one of us. Um, Jake, what are you rubbing right now? It looks like a very, very long banana. Yeah. I know a lot of them are heavily using references, but some of them are also creating stuff from imagination, so they definitely get bonus points for that. As you guys can see, they have a little more than two hours left. It's time to switch things up. Everyone, we're gonna do a mini challenge now to up the stakes, and some of you guys will get an advantage. So swipe transition to the next scene. Zach says mine is the worst right now, and now I don't want to continue on. Stop giving up. You already gave up one. When our desert date night, Michelle gave up like four times in one video. <laughs> Each one of you guys have five clay balls. You guys are trying to toss it in the buckets all the way on the other side. We're gonna see who comes in first, second, and third. And based on that order, you will get prizes. Go, Michelle. Oh! oh. No. How many? Go. Kobe! One! One! Kobe! Oh, wow! And one more. Kobe! Three! Wow! That's actually pretty tough to beat. Right, let's see it, David. Oh, one! Oh, Ben, normally you have a pretty good shot, so I expect you to make at least four. Uh, too late. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone go back. Jake, Vinny, David, stay back for an advantage. Jake, for coming in first. If you win this entire challenge, I'll give you 300 bucks. Yes! And you can grab anyone to help you out for 30 minutes. David and Vinny, you guys tied for a second. If either one of you guys win, you guys get 200 bucks. And you guys get to grab someone to help you for 20 minutes. Hey Jake, you get first pick. Who do you want? Mackenzie. I'm gonna wait for Ken. So you choose Mackenzie as well? Everyone wants 
and she helps Jake for 30 minutes and then she's on you for okay, 20 that's minutes. Fine. Vinny, who do you choose? Uh, I choose Michelle. Michelle! <laughs> Michelle, come over here. I chose Mackenzie to help me mainly because I wanted to take her away from her piece, but then I decided that I needed her to roll out some clay, so I put her to good use. Roll it out more, fill up the sheet. Please. You have that no choice. Exactly My deer's not doing too well. I was kind of hoping I could work on it. I have no idea why Vince chose me to work with him. It's not like he's my enemy or anything. Why are you bullying me? In our entire friend group, Ben and I are usually the more chill ones and everyone else just like screams and yells. Can you not hit me? What's such a just hit me. Well, well, he actually, just hit me. Since you're... <laughs> I don't know why. Today I just don't feel so motivated to keep going. Maybe it's because David put me at fifth. It makes me think that I just have to do fifth best. <laughs> so far, I think the prediction's not doing super good just because I think Michelle kind of gave up a little bit, so I'm nervous that she might get last. I think Ben's piece is looking really good and expressive. Same with Kenzie's, but I don't think my guess is right. I'm definitely stressing because I'm running out of time. If David wanted to win a thousand bucks today, he should have chose Ken's first. Her piece looks nice. I'm just coming around to take a look at some pieces. Oh no, it's falling. I know, I need a hair dryer. It's too wet. Blow it. What are you doing for your last 30 minutes? I'm just oh, touching up oh, the brain that's coming out of his head. All right, David, the mushrooms are looking very nice Thank on this. You. It's interesting because we have a lot of mushrooms in this competition. We do. It actually looks like mushrooms that exist in real life. I'm getting really nervous. The brain mantis in your reference looks so friendly. I know, right? It looks so cute. Are you gonna add your owl to the mix? Owl is nasty. Ben, you have some tough competition. Oh, I'm just glad I am competition. The question is, do you think yours is the best mushroom? What do you think that face is saying? During the final minutes when things are the most intense, Michelle is just sitting down for a nice Chick-fil-A salad. Miss Munchie Mukbang. I feel like she really doesn't care about her piece anymore at this point. I think I'm done because I don't want to over detail it anymore. We have seven minutes left. I'm adding the last couple of details. Some dirt. Everyone's pieces are looking really, really good. I have no idea who's going to win. I'm not very confident I'm going to finish at this point. Guys, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Everybody, stop doing what you're doing. Who wants to start us off? Ben. Ben, why don't you tell me what we have over here? I made a little evil mushroom character, a little venom type tongue and some teeth. I actually tried my best this video and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I really like the textures. At the bottom, it almost looks alien-like. It has a very cool and creepy expression. That's probably the best sculpture you've ever done. Good job, Ben. Thank you. Michelle, first of all, what is this thing? That is my original piece. Is this not a piece you're presenting? No, I am not presenting. Oh. I created a deer instead, and it's supposed to be like hanging off the wall. <laughs> Dead. I like that you tried your best. I think the one thing I do like about it is the fur texture. The eyes look kind of lifeless. The antlers are cool though. Good job, Michelle. Jake, tell me a little bit about this praying mantis. So unlike Michelle's piece, I think my piece has a lot of life. Wings on the back are textured. Didn't add as much detail as I wanted to because I think it was just very difficult and ambitious. Overall structure of the praying mantis is pretty on point. I, I did wish you could spend a little bit more time on like the, the arms and stuff because the spikes look really cool. Good job, Jake. All right, David. This is my magical little skull dude. Oh, I tried to add a lot of different textures. I really like the mushroom textures you have. I, I think those are by far my favorite. The skull, I don't like as much because for me, it looks a little soft. Good job, David. Mackenzie, what do we have here? This is my zombie guy. He has this brain portion coming out. This is a very, very nice looking piece. It just looks so dynamic. The eye sockets go so far into its head. If you had more time, I'd probably just texture it a bit more, but very nice. Yeah. All right, what do we have here? So Zach, I got a baby alligator coming out of the water. Yeah, for your first time working with clay, amazing job. Since I am a crocodile and alligator lover, I can tell that certain proportions are a little bit off. I do like the scales you added. Very nice. Just to remind you guys what's at stake, Vinny, if you win, you win 200 bucks. Jake, if you win, you win 300 bucks. And David, if you win and guess the correct order, you win $1,700. So the way this works is Jake and David were third and fourth in my opinion, so I'm gonna put them head to head first. And then the winner of that will go up against my second place, which is Mackenzie. And whoever wins from that will go up against, in my opinion, first place, Ben. Let's see how this turns out. David, Jake, you guys will be going against each other first. I just asked one of my subscribers, which one do you like better? The praying mantis or the skull with the mushrooms? And the person moving on to compete with Mackenzie? David! 
I think it would be kind of funny if at the end it was the Battle of the Mushrooms. Let's see who wins this one. I asked my friend Michael Pick, which one he likes better? The person moving on to compete with Ben is... David! I love you, Michael. We do have the Battle of the Mushrooms. For this final round, we're doing a best of three. I just asked LP, which one is your favorite? The Skull Mushroom or the Creepy Mushroom? The vote goes to... David! I just asked another random subscriber which one they like better. The vote goes to... David! Yeah! You proved me wrong. You had a great piece, and you also get $700. You didn't get the exact order correct, but David, you did win. We have six artists and six slabs of stone. Whoever has the best stone art in eight hours will win a precious stone and $5,000 for a subscriber. Yeah! If you win, you will win a diamond. Let's get stoned! Okay, no problem. Eight hours starts now. I wish I could just pull a SpongeBob and do one. I've never done this before, so you're yeah. gonna lose. I have no idea how they turn this into something so smooth as me. No. He's like stone. Oh god! One more thing. If you lose, you have a 100 question exam on the Stone Age. What? If you score the lowest on that, you get an additional punishment. So for some reason, we lost all the safety goggles before this video. I put the blame on Mackenzie. She was supposed to have them. I thought we were so we're out buying safety goggles right now, but in the meantime, Ben, what are you gonna be carving? I'm gonna be trying to carve this dragon. Oh wow. Jazz, what are you gonna be sculpting? I'm going to sculpt a skull. I'm gonna sculpt a horse. Oh, it's a knight. Are you making another frog? You could just make a frog head, or you could make a stand with a branch coming up with a frog hanging onto it. That would require talent, hard work, dedication, skill. Why are we still here? Michelle, what's your plan? Boys and girls, the last person to bring me a pebble from outside has to wear this for the rest of the challenge! I'm looking for a pebble. Wait, where do you find a pebble? What? Does this count as a pebble? I hope this is a pebble. A pebble? This is a I don't know. This is a pebble. Alright, you're done again. Yeah. Alright, that's good, Ben. Yeah. 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 Very nice, Jake. Is Ben the last one? Oh, Jazz! Yeah. Jazz, put this on. They do not know what pebbles are. That is a ginormous rock. It's like, ow! We paid $1,000 for this helmet, and I wanted to put it to good use. It's pretty fashionable, honestly. Guys, don't don't fight over the hammer. She always takes my stuff it's when I leave. Right there. Don't worry, we have safety goggles now, so our eyes are all safe. Cavemen, cave women, you know how we're carving rocks? I thought this would be a great time to play some rock paper scissors. Uh, no. It doesn't matter if you lose, but what does matter is how many times it takes for you to win. Rock paper scissors shoot. Woo! Rock paper scissors shoot 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 shoot. Four tries for Jake. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Two tries for Mackenzie. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Two tries for Viv. Rock paper scissors shoot 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 shoot. Four tries for Jazz. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Let's go! Jake, Jazz, you both took four tries to beat me. So, for the next 30 minutes, you can't use anything but these diamond pickaxes. This is literally plastic! That's not plastic, that's diamond. I think it's safe to say that this diamond pickaxe is not real diamond. Oh my gosh, I'm bleeding! You cut yourself on every video over the, like, the last five videos. My diamond pickaxe isn't really working, so I'm just gonna go walk around and pretend like I'm Zachary. My name is Zachary. Have you done anything? Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Good luck. I guess keep working, but you don't really have a chance. What are you working on? I'm making a bird. Jake seems like he's catching up to you. I don't really see him as competition at all. Oh! Whoa! What is this? 
Jake, what are you working on? Um, I'm working on a frog. <laughs> yeah, I can see the structures are really good. Good job, keep working. Michelle. Do you like it? Okay. I'm just kidding, Michelle. You keep working. You've been doing it very good. Good job, Dylan. Jake, you can now stop using your... in that car. I found it! I found I, it! <laughs> Jake, give it back to Viv. Alright, good job Viv. You have this extra piece of stone. Yes! I'm so happy! I got the shell of my turtle. Puccini is looking pretty cute. Right now, the frog is having a little identity crisis. Mackenzie. <laughs> ben, how's your dragon going? I think I'm gonna have the dragon like carved out into like a cliff side. I think that's the best thing I can do right now. It looks like everyone's struggling a little bit, but definitely better than the first hour. I do, however, think Mackenzie is in the lead so far, but a lot of the other pieces are coming along too. Everyone, take a sheet of paper and a pen. You have 60 seconds to write down as many types of rocks as you can think of. Go. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift up your pens. 20 for Michelle. All right, 10 for Jake. 13 for Mackenzie. Okay, I'm not gonna take Rocky Road. I didn't think of any. That's only 14. Nine. Michelle, you won by six. Yay! Come with me. <laughs> Michelle, you get to make one artist mine 100 cobblestone in Minecraft. Who do I choose? What's going on? Oh gosh, what is it? Michelle, wanna tell one of your friends what they're doing? Just because I think it'd be so funny. This, you will be mining 100 stones in Minecraft. What? I've never played Viv has played Minecraft before. Roll the giant PS5 clip. This is Viv's house. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it looks like a corner with a little stool. Keep in mind, that's in creative mode. She's never done survival. Whoa. I don't even know how to get supplies. I don't even know how to walk. I want to see how Viv is doing. Can you at least tell me how to walk? And the clue I'll give you is walk. So I was trying to work on my frog, but I hear Viv practically crying from across the room, so I'm gonna go check what she's up to. You just got your first pieces of stone. Yeah! Alright, Viv, now you just gotta keep mining these great things. I can do that. <gasps> I did it! Oh oh Let's be honest, I didn't do that. <laughs> Oh no, Michelle. Do you want to try gluing it on? Yeah, I'm gonna try gluing it on. Jake, let me see your frog so far. Not bad. Ben, why are you helping Jazz out? She wasn't doing anything. You haven't made any progress. Oh, look. It's getting a little bit better, Ben. I turned a skull into a cup. I'm gonna try and salvage Petunia. Five, four, three, two, one. Everyone! Hands off your rock! Great job. We will be right back. We have some major cleanup to do. All right, Ben, why don't you tell me about your stone piece? I made a dragon carved into a mountainside. The dragon's name is Phil. Phil died protecting his family, so his family carved him into a mountainside to commemorate him. Ben, I like the idea, but I almost feel like your dragon was a little bit too simple. I don't know, I feel like you can't really see the depth and the textures very well. I'm assuming in the middle you realize a dragon would be kind of hard. Yeah. Nice work, Ben. Jazz, tell me about yours. I did a skeleton head Stone Age cup. Whoa, yours is heavy. You left a lot of material on. You know, back in the day, you can't rely on multiple cups, so you can only rely on one. Well, Jazz, I like how it's functional too. <laughs> 
front kind of looks like a Minecraft skeleton. Well, Jess, nice skull cup. Viv, you got two slabs of stone. Tell me how you used it. For one of them, I turned it into a two-headed horse. So honestly, it's just two horses stuck what? together. Excuse me? Because <laughs> if you look at it from the front, it's too thick. It's a horse with a V tattooed on its forehead. And then two for horses. the second slab, I turned it into a stand. And I wrote THC. What? 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 That literally, I thought that was a I really like the horse. It looks cool, but, but I really don't see the two horse idea. Viv, it's just a white horse. I mean, I do think it kind of looks like a chess piece. So you did this pretty well. Good job, Viv. Mackenzie, why don't you tell me about your owl? I made an owl on tree branch with a little heart. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you have the entire form of the owl down. I take it you sanded it quite a lot. Isn't it really smooth? I'm actually impressed by how smooth it is. You also have some details on the face, which I really like. It was originally going to be a cockatiel, but then this was like the top of the block, so I had to make it into an owl. She didn't want to challenge herself. Yeah, I'm the one who didn't want to challenge myself, as you did a frog for like, what, the fifth time? <sighs> no comment. Great work, Mackenzie. Oh my goodness! This is my frog named Hubert. See, that's my dad's name. <laughs> what a coincidence. He has some nice veins going through his eyes, and he has some textured scaly type skin, and two giant eyes, who everyone thought were pooed. <laughs> well, Jake, I like the details on the frog face. It looks a little rectangular. Would you like to hold it? No. You're saying it looks <laughs> rectangular. I'll show you the reference picture. Second of all, you don't need to look at the back because you don't see people saying, oh, I want to see the back of George Washington's head in Mount Rushmore. Why did you want to hold Mackenzie's, but you won't hold Jake? I don't know. He's weak and mine's heavier. Take all of that out of consideration when you're judging. Nonetheless, I think it's a nice piece. Good job, Jake. Oh my goodness, Michelle. This is Petunia the turtle. Her head was decapitated, so she's going through surgery right now. And this is her physical therapy oh. rock. What? <laughs> oh, oh, look at the hey, let me see she had, She's going through jaw surgery. Michelle, it looks like a hippo. Oh, it's a hippo. I mean, the shell's smooth. You did your best. <laughs> All right, well, artists, very impressed, considering none of you guys have worked with stone before. Of course, she has. Wait, what? In middle school. <laughs> she told me. Even though you all did great, we're gonna have to start eliminating. Michelle, you're eliminated. <laughs> Jazz, I'm gonna have to eliminate your skull. Mr. Benjamin, you are out. I'm surprised I made it this far. Now the final three. <laughs> Dan, put down the camera. This is my childhood friend, Dan. He's always complaining that he's getting cut, so. You can be in this part. Eliminate someone. What is that supposed to be? This is a horse, Dan. She said it's- Sorry, a bit <laughs> Kenzie, Jake, shall we let the subscribers choose? Yes, that's fair. Jake always wins the <laughs> Sorry, Jake. Kenzie, Jake, how are you two feeling right now? I don't know, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh my god. I have the final results. Winning with 76% of the votes. Me? <laughs> Mackenzie! Yay! Job. <laughs> Mackenzie, are you ready to see your diamond? We literally bought you a real diamond. Ooh, mommy, likey. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Ew, my fingers look then you really weren't. Mackenzie, don't lose that. And Shell, Jake, Viv, Jess, Ben, do you know what time it is? A 100 question geology test. Get your pens and papers. Boys and girls, turn your exams over. You have 15 minutes to answer as many questions as you can. The bottom two gets one. Oh. Uh. Time is up. Mackenzie, would you like to hand out the test? Yeah. With a 25.5% bench. <laughs> yes! With a whopping 13.5%. Wait, Michelle got 15. So Someone Michelle counted it wrong. Oh, oh, there you go. 12.5 and you suck. <laughs> Wait, what did Jake get? I'm better than you. Wait, what did Jake get? Jake got A. That's 
Yeah. All right, Bip, Jake. I already knew this was right. gonna happen. Any last words? No. Mackenzie, for the next 10 minutes, every lab you do is oh. $50 per subscriber. Three, two, Wait, one, no, go! No. You little <laughs> <laughs> Right here. Oh, 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 oh